Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when audio is not working at all or audio is not working properly or if the audio is stuttering with Sons of the Forest game in your Windows computer, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now, the first step which has worked for me is to try different external speaker or headphone. So as long as I was using internal speaker, the speaker which came with the computer, with that speaker, I was facing the audio stuttering issue. So if you have any external speaker, you can connect your external speaker. You can use the wired or maybe you can even use the Bluetooth external speaker or headphone and then you launch the game and then check that should fix the problem. This has worked for me. So try external speaker or headphone. You can try different one and then check if it is available. Next step is to change the sample rate for that particular speaker for your speaker for this open control panel so type in control panel in windows search box and then go to hardware and sound now go to sound click on it and then select your speaker over here make a right click and then select properties now go to advanced tab now over here if you can try both you can go up or down so if this is set to maybe 24 bit 48,000 Hertz, you can try 24 bit 96,000 Hertz or even 24 bit 19, 2000 Hertz. You can try this. If that does not work, you can go up. You can try 24 bit 44,100, this one, that. So go up and check different sample rate. So try changing the sample rate you can go up or down and check which one is working fine for you. Now this has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So you can try this. Next step is to delete the save game file. Now, when you delete the save game file, you will lose all the game progress. So only if you agree, you can try this because you have to start everything from scratch. To delete the save game files, you can open the run box and in the run box type in percentage app data percentage and then click on ok now over here go to app data click on app data and then open local low folder now open end night folder over here you can see sons of the forest so you can make a right click on end night and then click on delete once you click on delete, you will lose all the game progress. So once you delete it, once done, now launch the game and then check. So for me, the very first step has worked. So you can try this first if the option is available. Still you are facing the problem, then you can follow the rest of the steps shown in this video. So try the rest of the steps. Now the first step is to restart the game. So if the game is running, close the game restart the game and then check the sound now still you are facing the problem then check volume mixture now for this on the bottom right over here you can see the speaker icon make a right click on the speaker icon and then click on open volume mixture now over here you will see your game running over here so you will see the game so if the sound for the game is zero you can just slide it to 100 so make sure the sound for the game is running over here so make sure the game is set to 100 and then launch the game next step is to select the right audio device in sound settings now for this make a right click on the speaker icon once again click on sound settings and make sure the right speaker is selected over here so select the right speaker so you might be having multiple audio devices connected. So make sure that you select the device which you're using to play the game. Now, the next step is to set sound sample rate to 48,000 Hertz or 44. So for this, type in control panel in Windows search box and then click on control panel. Now click on hardware and sound. Now click on sound over here. Now select a speaker which you're using, make a right click on the speaker and then select properties. Now go to the advanced tab. Now over here, select 
24 bit 48,000 Hertz or you can select 24 bit 44,000 Hertz. Then click on apply, click on OK and then launch the game and then check the sound. Next step is to now if you're using controller, disconnect the controller, then launch the game and once the game is up and running, connect the controller and then check the sound. Now the next step is to turn off spatial sound. Now for this, type in control panel in Windows search box and then click on control panel. Now go to hardware and sound. Now click on sound. Now make a right click on the speaker. Now select properties. Go to spatial sound. Now if this is on, if this is set to Windows Sonic for headphones, turn it off, select off, then click on apply, click on OK. Now check the sound. Now the next step is to disable Oculus or voice meter audio under both recording and playback in sound control panel. Now for this, again open sound control panel. Go to hardware and sound, sound. Now over here, if you find a coolest over here or voice meter over here, make sure those devices are off. So in my case, I don't have voice meter over here. I don't have a coolest over here. So if you have any kind of VR sound device over here, just make a right click and then click on disable. So disable voice meter or a coolest from here. So disable it from playback and both recording. So under recording, if you find uh, your uh, voice meter or a coolest over here, just make a right click and disable it. And then check the sound. Now do the same thing in device manager. So make a right click on the start menu and then click on device manager. Now expand sound, video and game controllers. Now over here, just disable all the devices, all the device, USB devices, which you're not using. So make sure that you have only the audio device, which is running only that is enabled, the rest you can disable. So if you find voice meter over here, or if you find a over here, just make a right click and then click on disable. This is just an example. I don't have voice meter or a over here. If you see voice meter or a over here, disconnect or disable the device which you are not using and make sure in my case this is the audio device which i'm using so make sure only this is on the rest are disabled you can try this so just make sure that you do the same thing in device manager so make sure aculus or voice meter is not enabled in device manager as well as in sound control panel now the next step is to uncheck hands-free telephony now this is for windows 10 users Type in control panel in Windows search box and then open control panel. Go to hardware and sound. Now click on devices and printers. Now over here you will find your headphones or speaker. So just make a right click on the speaker and then select properties and go to the services tab and just wait for a few seconds and uncheck the box which says hands-free telephony uncheck this box and then click on apply and then click on ok now launch the game in windows 11 open run box and then copy this command this command is provided in the video description so copy this paste it over here and then click on ok and it will open devices and printers and then make a right click on your speaker and then select properties now go to the services tab and then uncheck the box which says hands-free telephony and then click on apply, click on OK and then check. The next step is to disconnect external microphone connected to the computer. So if you have any external microphone connected to the computer, disconnect it and then launch the game. Also, you can also disable internal microphone in sound control panel. Now for this again, Type in control panel in Windows search box and then click on control panel. Now go to hardware and sound, sound and then go to the recording tab and then make a right click on microphone and then click on disable. And once this is dis disabled, now launch the game. 
Next step is to install audio driver. Now for this, make a right click on the game. Make a right click on the start menu actually. Make a right click over here and then click on device manager to open device manager. Now over here, expand sound, video and game controllers. Now over here, select your speaker, make a right click and then click on update driver. Now, first of all, click on search automatically for drivers and then once that is done, now launch the game. If that does not work, then click on search for updated drivers on Windows Update. Now this will launch Windows Update. Now if there is any update, in my case, there is no update. So if you find any update, install it, restart your computer and then launch the game. Still you are facing the problem, then make a right click on the game, uh, on the speaker, sorry, and then click on update driver and then click on browse my computers for drivers. Click on let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Now over here, in my case, it's Realtek Audio. So if Realtek Audio is selected over here, you can select high definition audio device and then click on next. Now, if you see high definition audio device over here, in that case, you can select Realtek high definition audio and then click on next. So if high definition is selected over here, select Realtek. If Realtek is mentioned over here, and this is just an example. So you might have some other audio device. So you can try to install the driver. You can try multiple uh, audio drivers. So in my case, if Realtek is selected, select high definition. If high definition is over here, then select Realtek and then click on next. And after the installation, restart the computer. And after the system restart, launch the game and then check the sound. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the audio issue with the game. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.